Bring us just up to date. So what we know so far is there was a French soldier that fired on a man armed with a knife at Louvre. How much more do we know? That's really it. Up there, there was a patrol of soldiers and police at the entrance to the Louvre. A man carrying a machete and shelling al Akbar went towards one. Went towards them. He lightly injured one of the soldiers. Another soldier fired at him five times, wounded him. He was arrested. That's what we know right now. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess the, you know the concern that uh, people will be afraid that this is some kind of repeat of what we saw in 2016 and, and 15 with some of the terrorist attacks. It's too early to jump to conclusions. Do we know that? Uh, so they've sealed off the area, they've evacuated people, and now we just wait for news from the French finance minister, the Interior Ministry. Yeah, there were about 250 people in the stair in the stairwell area where this happened. They were kept aside. They've now been allowed to leave. I mean, it seems when I le I was at the area just a little while ago, they're now removing the exclusion zone around the um, around the museum. So it does seem it does seem to be under control. This man was alone. He had no one else with him. So it, the incident does seem to be over at this point. Greg, tell me about what it is like within life in Paris. We see Paris this morning. We see Canada a number of days ago. I think of Sydney a year and a half ago, whenever that was. There just seems to be almost at will, there can be an individual event of terror. How does Paris adapt to that? Well, I, I think we have to keep some perspective on this. If this incident had happened two years ago, you know, we would not be talking about it on this show. It would be on page 25 of some newspaper or more in a little tiny box. I think it's just because of the context that, that an incident like this, in which, don't forget, you know, one soldier was very, very lightly injured, and then the guy was shot, not killed, you know. So let, let's not overdo it. But, yes, there, there is, after what happened in, in, you know, what happened in Paris over the past two years, obviously there's concern, and you see it. I mean, there's, as I said, this man attacked a patrol of soldiers. You didn't used to have soldiers wandering around the streets of Paris. Now you've got patrols of, of paratroopers in, in camouflage outfits patrolling around Paris because of the risk. So, I mean, absolutely, it's always, it's, it's, oh, it's always just a moment, you know, it's always mm -hmm. just possibly a moment away.